Welcome back to our latest episode. In this episode, we are gonna be installing a SIG Energy SIG install. It's something we've wanted to get our hands on for a long time now. And we're gonna be answering the question, is the SIG Energy as good as the hype? What are your thoughts on it? Thumbs yeah. up, thumbs down. So I know there's been a lot of people out there who's been filming the SIG Energy. Now it's our turn. Let's go and see what the lads are up to. So Matt's already on with mounting the fireboard. We've got a front and we've got a rear elevation on this property. So the customer's maxing out the roof space and we're looking at 28 panels, eight kilowatt battery and an eight kilowatt inverter. Let's get on with it. So first of all, I think we've got to explain what a SIG N store is from the SIG Energy. The SIG Energy is a modular based battery system. It can be configured in either AC or DC. So if you've already got a solar system, you can have this up front to store your power. Or if you're going for a brand new solar system, we can plug the solar panel straight into it. So on this job, we've got the floor mount, the eight kilowatt battery. So we can have up to six batteries on the stack and they can be either the five kilowatt battery or the eight kilowatt battery in any variation. And we've gone for the 10 kilowatt inverter. So yeah, quite a big system. I think it's a novelty, but I think it's fantastic. At Christmas, you can change the lights around it to um, red and green and flashing, so it looks a little bit like a Christmas tree. Absolutely pointless in terms of generation, but looks good. So floor stand comes with a built-in spirit level. You can get the wall mount as well, so it's very similar to this, it goes on a wall, but it limits the amount of batteries you can actually have stacked on a wall. Floor stand, you can have all six. So let's get this into position. With this installation, we're not using the gateway. We're going to use a meter. We have got a 60 amp fuse, which we've applied to the DNO to be graded. When we commission it, we'll just put a, a limitation on to protect the fuse. And on Wednesday, Matthew is going to be changing the board. So we're going to put a fuse board double stack in. This is getting upgraded. So we might just temporarily install the SIG Energy. I don't know yet. Let's go and take a look at what Dale's getting on with on the roof. North is that way, so quite a northly faced roof. That was the customer setup, that's what he wanted. We're getting 14 panels either side, and it's the actual thin tiles, so we're gonna use the Genius flashing kit on this. So yeah, two rows of seven go in there. A little bit of change of plan. Dale's managed to actually do a test on here. We can grind it out. This one's broke, so it's not staying in, but we can grind it out, and there's enough on there that the hook isn't putting any pressure onto the roof tile, and we can get it out. So I think that's the way we're gonna go with this, actually, rather than the Genius. By all accounts, it should be, despite it being quite a large install, should be relatively um, straightforward. We've got a fuse board to change, which some circuits aren't on RCD, so that could go either way, really. Let's start putting the batteries together. As always, getting to look nice is the, uh, one of the longest parts of the job. I mean, we don't have to go all the way down with it, do we? So we could... We can go to the edge of that, though. I mean, the stack's only quite small because it's only got one battery. But do what we allow for future it? expansion? How many batteries? How high is this unit at the minute? You can see the battery there, 600 mil or something. Yeah. 550. Yeah. But let's do the trunky last. Let's get the batteries in place. Yeah. I think we go centre and we work it's around rushing. that. Now you can move the package to the ideal installation site and unpack it. Sometimes you've just got to learn have to do these things. So this is the battery. Okay, fairings, brackets. Ooh. So one of the cool things about the, the SIG Energy system, if you come and take a look at this, so if we look here, we've got a DC terminal. So the batteries and the inverter interlock onto the terminal. The terminal sends signals to each other. Only once that's engaged will these pins become live but it just means we don't now have to have plugs, cables. It all just stacks up together by itself. I'm gonna get this stripped out indoors because I think the rain's coming. This is progress. We've got down here, the eight kilowatt battery, 10 kilowatt inverter, floor mounted and wall braced. So that's not going anywhere. Also, if I step back, you can see it gives us the option to expand in the future. So we can always add batteries on if we need to. So on this one as well, 
we're going to do Wi-Fi connection, but we're also going to do a 4G dongle. So if Wi-Fi drops off at any point, at least we can always see what's going on. Kind of throws you, doesn't it, when you're doing a new product? Mm. As to who does what next and when and where. No, good time, mate. You'll not get a body like this, seat and all of them. So we've got everything fixed into position. Cabling wise, we're going to go up and over. We've got the board to change, so we're not in a rush for that. Wiring, let's have a look. Okay, so we're back on day two now. All of the hooks got put in yesterday. Battery got mounted, inverter got mounted, isolators got done. We're now on with the board change. So let me show you what Matt's been on with. We've got a double stacked board, quite a lot to, to change here. And it had CT monitoring on every load. So they've got to go back in. We'll get our feed across to the battery and inverter. Hopefully the lads on the roof will be done this afternoon. And fingers crossed we can get it commissioned today. And then we'll just be titivating, tidying up and sorting out tomorrow. Okay, so a bit of a dinner time update. We're making good progress. I say we're. Matt's making good progress. He's on with this double stack fuse board. Battery and inverter over in the corner. We just need to bring some DCs through to that, which I am on with around the corner. Again, using PV Ultra. One of the things we do on our installs, especially if we're not using Solar Edge, is we install arc boxes. All of our string system installations have arc, arc boxes on the main DC cable. Yeah, I suppose the biggest risk really is the installer made plugs. Everything else is manufacturer made. So arc boxes, what are arc boxes? This is an MC4, male and female. They click in together and that's how we connect to the panels. Now, if water was to get into the back of here or you know this was to fail, potentially this is a starting point of arcing, which is a fire, fire hazard in itself. So by putting it inside an arc box, locking it in there, that then gets cable tied to the rail. If that was to arc or start to try and set fire, all of this intermittent and fire seal on this would stop anything from spreading. So potentially another little safety feature, which you don't tend to see on every installation. Yeah, that's the arc box. Makes it a little bit different, I suppose. So we're using the Doncaster PV Ultra again on this job, just for the practical use and the fact we have four strings, so four sets of seven. Each one of these is the four core version, meaning we've only got to run two sets of cables all the way up to the top. Also as well, with the way we're installing this, it's a little bit tricky. Up at the top on the gable end, we've got the chimney. So the space where we can actually enter the loft space is only quite small. We've got gas pipes on the outside. We've got soil stacks, windows. We've got a lot to contend with. So we sort of need to be flexible with the installation. Fantastic, fantastic bit of cable. Hence why we use not on this job. If we were just doing pure straight runs, I might opt for um, some conduit and, and singles. Don't cast the cable for this one. Five o'clock, day two. We've actually got quite a lot done. So Matt's finished the board. All of the front of the array is on. The back's just been finished off now by the lads. DC was a bit of a nightmare to get down. The board's been a bit tight. It's just been one of those really slow days, but a lot of the, the hard work's done. But let me show you where we're up to. Double stack board, it's pretty much done. We need to pick up some blanks. Feed for the outdoor lights that needs to go in. Doorbell transformer needs wiring back up. Garage supply is on. What can you see? On an extension lead. DCs are in though. There's our little checklist. So we know where we're up to. We've got four strings. Yeah, so we are winning. So there's the front array. There's six panels here, eight panels here. Two strings of seven. That's all going to get solar skirted. And if we scoot round the back very quickly. There is the back array. Again, that's gonna get solar skirted tomorrow. Yeah, these will perform really well. So there's 14 panels on the rear, which is south facing, 14 panels on the front. But overall, it should generate quite well. Okay, so that is us done for day two. I've got a meeting in the morning. So Matt, Dale and the team will be back just finishing off. I'll probably be here midday just to commission it. So by all accounts, the SIG Energy 
is wonders for commissioning. It shouldn't take us too long, not like another Stoke version of a energy system which takes us hours. This should be straightforward, so fingers crossed. Let's rejoin tomorrow about lunchtime. Okay, so day three, we're now commissioning. It seems to be going okay. So if you've commissioned any other system, you'll know the stresses and the headaches you can get. Up to now, this has been really straightforward. So we connected the internet, registered the customer. The software updates took a couple of minutes. So fingers crossed it carries on like this. We've checked voltage, polarity, and all of the DC. AC has been tested. So Matt's behind us on with the testing of the fuse board and all the circuits. Fairly stacked out board. We'll see all the notes there. That'll get labeled up later on. This seems to be commissioning quite well. There is a seven kilowatt export limitation to go on site. So we'll set that in the parameters here. DC test sheet, let's hide the address underway. That's all been tested. We'll get in there. Let's just carry on with this commission. All right, so I'll be honest, that went pretty well. Standby now, on grid. It's 42% in the battery. What the f was that? That's a lot, that's just been fried. What? Welcome back. We plugged the data comms in the wrong way, so when we went to commission it, it didn't kick in. So we've rectified that now. We're just labeling up. Everything's charging, discharging, working as it should. So I'm gonna get on with the labeling and then we'll show you at the end and let you know what we thought of the whole process. So there's the eight kilowatt battery, 10 kilowatt inverter, ACs and DC strings all done. Double stack board, all done by Matty very neatly. That's us up and generating. This is the SIG Energy app. We're producing 3.8 kilowatts now and it's five o'clock. Kilowatts going to the home. Battery is at 98% full. It's running pretty well. Um, looks a treat. We've got the lights on the Christmas tree setting just because, well, we can. The arrays all done. The roofers are gonna come and put solar skirt on that tomorrow just to finish it off. Customers happy, jobs are good in. Let's hear our thoughts. So that's us all done. What are your thoughts on it? Thumbs yeah. up, thumbs down. Thumbs up, definitely. Thumbs up. Yeah, stackable, it's modular, it's small, it's light, it's easy to install, commission's fast, yeah. it works. I think for me, the fastest thing on that, or the best thing on that, was how fast the firmware updated. Yeah. There's no messing about, there's no ringing technical, mm. bar the fact I put the data in the wrong place. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, but first in one. Terms, in terms of the system itself, yeah. it does exactly what you want it to do. Mm -hmm. Import set, export set. For me, I think that might be one of our newer go tos. It's the number one. Yeah. <laughs> Right, should we go home? Let's do it. <laughs> There's something so cringe about doing videos, isn't there? <laughs>